Hello guys, this is me. I just had my PRK. I feel better than expected. I'll explain the process a little bit for the ones that are not familiar with it. But this video is supposed to be my personal experience with the PRK. This is not medical advice. This is only and just my personal experience. First of all, if you want to consider doing PRK, either elastic, either smile, you should be aware that you have to have a constant eyesight. It shouldn't be going worse or better in the last, I don't know, maybe one year or so. Mine was almost the same for like three years straight. Second of all, you should definitely talk to a doctor. You shouldn't go listening to random people about this thing. Everyone might have specific and different problems with their eyes so you should definitely consult the doctor. Before doing the proper operation, you'll have to go to the doctor a few times. They have to measure some things in your eyes. Most importantly, they have to measure your cornea. That isn't that important for you, but it's really important for them because they need to know how thick is your cornea and so on. So before entering the operation, they'll just dress up in like some sort of uniform so that your hair won't go into your eyes. For example, if you have long hair like I do, they'll put some drops in your eyes anesthetic for your eyes so you won't feel anything during the operation it's a local anesthetic you won't get to sleep you'll be awake and then you'll go into the room they will uh, tell you to lay down onto some sort of a platform you'll go underneath uh, a laser. This is a crucial difference between PRK, elastic and smile. With PRK, the doctor will unveil or like will cut up a piece of your cornea using some drops. Basically, he'll put a cylinder uh, onto your eye in which he'll uh, drop some um, drops, drop some drops, which will then make it easier for him to like peel your cornea of your eye. After that, your eye will go into the laser. The laser will modify uh, the thickness uh, of your cornea, of other layers of your cornea. The laser basically uh, makes another lens into your cornea, or at least that's how I understood it, that will fix uh, the vision problem you have. It's like putting glasses into your cornea, if it makes sense. Uh, also before that, they will make sure that uh, you can't blink. They'll put like something that will keep your eye opened, which is not that uncomfortable since your eye is numb. Like I didn't feel a thing. After that, they will also clear your eye a couple of times. They'll make sure that's nothing in your eye. They'll put your eye underneath the laser. You have to like watch a specific point. Uh, something that the doctor did in my case, and it was extremely helpful. It was that he was describing everything he does while doing it. So that I can understand and maybe be a like, calm and understand the situation understand what he's doing. I think it was fortifying my thought of his confidence over the procedure that he's doing. So uh, the eye goes on uh underneath the laser, the laser does its magic, and then you come out, they uh, take away the tissue that has to be taken away, so that your eye is clear, and then they put a contact lens to protect your eye, and this is like really important, like a large piece of your cornea, it's removed, there has to be something in place to protect your eye, so this will be the lens. It is the same with your other eye, they do not operate uh, eyes both at uh, the same time, they do it one by one. So this was my case, that's PRK. With other ones, with LASIK, what uh, the laser does is that they do not use substance to like remove your uh, the little part of the tissue of your cornea. With LASIK, what they do is that they cut off with the laser a portion of the cornea and they make a little flap and after the laser does its work they can just close the flap. They also make you wear contact lenses uh, just for protection and so on. But the thing is that with LASIK because you basically have the whole cornea right after the operation the only cells that need to regenerate are the ones around the part that they cut off. You don't have to regenerate the whole surface that they took off uh, like in PRK. That basically means that with LASIK, the recovery after the operation, it's way simpler and faster just because you don't have that many cells to recover, right? It's only that little portion that the laser cut off. It's only like the little contour, I guess. With Smile, with the other one, that's, I think Smile is the newest. They cut off a side portion. They take out the burnt fragments of the cornea 
and thus the recovery time is way shorter even compared to LASIK. A few things that I want to say is that what helped me a lot was focusing on my breath. Also what I've been asked is if I am extremely sensible to pain. Also something extremely important is having sunglasses with you. They are life-saving. Please have sunglasses with you. About the drops. This is the one that I have to put in my eyes uh, once every one and a half hour. I don't know exactly what they are, I'm sorry, and they are written in Romanian, so I, I can't really tell you exactly what they are, I'm so sorry. But I, I'll just tell you uh, what they feel like, I guess, and what, when and how much per day I have to. So these are like one drop per one and a half hour every day. Yeah, one drop uh, four times a day of each of these. And also this is some sort of a gel. And this it's also uh, one drop basically four times per day. I have to stay in extremely low light. I don't have to force my eyes. So no PC and no streaming unfortunately for two weeks. After a week they, I have to go again to the doctor and I have to take off my lenses. Like now I have extremely good sight. My eyesight is supposed to go like shit <laughs> tomorrow and then slowly slowly recover and get better as my eyes recover and get you. I shouldn't be doing exercises or workouts or sports, especially with my lenses on, because I don't want to fuck anything up. I'm not saying the wind, it's something I experienced because I went, I had to catch a train and I went on a scooter and I felt almost blind. That's about it for the first day. I feel almost no pain. I was extremely scared of how it could go. Don't go alone there, have somebody with you. It's really important. Have somebody that will take care of you. You have to have somebody to take care of you. These are my glasses, by the way. I've been wearing these for three fucking years and they broke like a year and a half ago and I wanted to do PRK. I planned it for like, I think a year and a half now and I finally did it. So I'm really, really glad and I'm really happy with myself. I do not regret it like a second. I can't think of regret regarding this um, procedure. Yeah, it's it's over. My life with glasses is basically over. I will wear like reading glasses after 40 years or so. What I'm planning to do is not go out in the sunlight for two days and on the third day I'll go out but in the evening after two almost two weeks, so like one, one week and a half, I'll have to go to a trip. I, I'll keep you updated on the progression of my recovery since I've heard that it's extremely painful, which I don't feel, I actually feel almost no pain. Uh, it, it's kind of annoying because I never wear lenses before. And now I'll just show you how I put the drops in my eyes. Okay, so this is my right eye. That's how it looks with the lens and stuff. And this is my left eye with the lens I'm also I'm so not used to lenses okay this is the first one oh my god okay after you place one you should absolutely blink this is horrible by the way the one that I found the most um, troublesome is the gel because it's really sticky and from what they told me you can't really put gel in drops it'll be like long strings of gel so don't overdo with the gel, it's really important. So this is my first day and that's how it went. One last thing is that I'm getting a little bit dizzy. So the operation was at around 8 and a half a.m. And now it's 2.25 p.m. Around six hours after the procedure. That's it. This is like 5 a.m. in the morning. I had to wake up and put some anesthetic drops into my left eye especially it hurts i had to sleep on my back i suppose you can sleep on your sides but it's the best to sleep on your back and it really fucking hurts holy shit